What is good C-Squad? Today we're watching the brand new episode of Bridge Kids. And if you go on to enjoy this video, then make sure to like and subscribe. And make sure to check out Mike Karf, the creator of Bridge Kids. His channel link will be in the description below. Let us begin. Hey, so are you like, uh... Oh. I'm not in your way, right? Oh, like, uh, I'm no, I, I was just chilling. I wonder where this takes place. Judging by the school and the surroundings, maybe downtown Detroit? I was gonna say, wait, where's your, where's your little friend with the, with the braces? Yeah, he was supposed to be here, like, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he got into an accident. It's really weird seeing these two interact because Fugger and Mo are like the, the leader of their group. It's really weird and very awkward. But he got like a skateboard there. That's, well, it's not actually a pretty... skateboard. It's a, it's a longboard. Um, oh, it's I actually, didn't know they it's actually come... let you take that to school. It's pretty cool. Is there actually a difference between longboards and skateboards? Like, yes, I get longboards are longer, hence the name longboard. But are skateboards more for like tricks? And are longboards meant for like riding? Also, who here remembers Obey? I remember some kids in my elementary school, they would wear those Obey hats. Don't you have someone else to be hanging out with? Don't, don't you have Mo? Oh yeah, yeah, you do hang out with that guy a lot. Yeah, I think I see him over there. It's, it's like, the, it's called the Little Green Monster and it's good for Damn, your Damn, it's a Little Green Monster monster for a big old monster like myself. <laughs> I love and hate Mo at the same time. In all honesty, Mo is probably like my favorite character in the show. He's just so over the top. Mo reminds me of those people who think they're the shit when they ain't even the fart. Did I really just quote Ice Spice? God, what is wrong with me? He's been seeing her for like a couple days now. How the hell did that happen? D doesn't she know anything about him? He's a known chauvinist. Clearly he's manipulating her. What did he say? Chauvinist? What is a chauvinist? Person displaying excessive or prejudiced support from their own cause or group in particular a man prejudice against women so a sexist i'm sure deep down he's a good guy why are you suddenly giving this guy like the benefit of the doubt mo constantly is, is picking on us and, and you're suddenly acting like he's he's a he's like a nice guy or, or whatever i mean we mostly just go after you <laughs> I was just gonna say that. From the episodes that I have watched, it doesn't seem like they ever go after Lars. They always go after Fugger. Rightfully so, by the way. Fugger is so annoying. And the fact that his name is Fugger just makes it even worse. All right, you know what, whatever. I'm gonna go give this poor woman a dose of reality. Where do you work again? I want to visit you at work. Oh no, what is he gonna say? He's gonna say some really stupid shit. Also, why is this girl wearing these ridiculous flippers? Why are you hanging out with that guy? Don't don't you know, there are like so many like better guys that you could be dating. What the fuck are you talking about right now? Do you think just because I'm a woman on the street that you own me? You can tell me how I spend my time? <laughs> That turned out, that turned out way better than I thought it could have. I love it when annoying characters like Fugger get what they deserve. That's um, my job, bro. I protect my girl, not you. Little bug man, please leave. <laughs> Little Bugman, that is an amazing roast for this character in particular. You can have another chip if you, you know, make you feel better. Oh, well, well I guess I could have another chip, you know, thank you. Uh, he took two chips as a self-proclaimed foodie and fatty. I hate it when I offer someone something and then they just take a massive handful when they said they're just going to take a little bit. I know that made me sound very fat. I, I appreciate you sharing all these snacks with me, you know, it's very generous of you. Yeah, no problem. First off, I love how Fugger is just hating all of this. But also, Mr. XQC over here, aka Lars, his nose is literally in the can of chips. I I'm just gonna go for a walk. Uh, do you mind? I I'm trying to concentrate right now. Oh no, it's Mr. Pumped Up Kicks. I forgot all about him. Please have him and Fugger hang out. I just feel like being alone right now, you know? I, I, don't, I don't need to be with uh, other people all the time, you know? Sometimes I, I just like to... Uh, you know, meditate in, in solitude. I know Fugger is just coping, but that right there is totally me. Basically, it's like, you know, Mo got like a girlfriend somehow, and, uh, and, and so that means that Skid has no one to talk to. And so now Skid thinks that, like, Lars is like his his new best friend or whatever. What? He, like, like, he thinks that he could just, like, roll up and just start trauma dumping over someone, and then that'll just suddenly make them your friend. The shit that Fugger comes up with in his head to completely cope with his shitty personality is unbelievable. Believable. And I bet you Fugger believes every single word that he says. Why are they disrupting the natural order? Yeah, I know, and it's really messed up because I, I, I was friends with Lars first. I know him way longer. God, it's so typical. Friends are so expendable to those thugs. How does, how does someone like Mo get a 
girlfriend in the first place. Maybe Fugger and Mr. Pumped Up Kicks here would actually be really good friends. By the way, I keep calling him Mr. Pumped Up Kicks because I don't remember what his name was. We could tell her parents. I mean, I guess, but like, I, I'm not really even sure how we do that. I mean, I don't even know where she lives. Maybe we could just follow her home, you know? I've done it a few times before. We'll keep a safe distance and she'll lead us right there. Yep, that was a sentence that was just said. Just when I thought he couldn't get any worse. He's also a stalker. Leave a letter in her mailbox. Warn them about the consequences of associating with this hoodlum. That's it, done. In and out. Alright, yeah, that's, that seems pretty reasonable. I hate that Mr. Pumped Up Kicks was smiling the entire time while saying that. Not once in his head did he think that was a bad idea. That's the scariest part. Okay. Why are you following me? I can see you. Yeah, hi. That was your idea of at a distance? Oh my god. These characters are dumbasses. Can you just walk on the other side of the street, please? I'm just trying to like have a nice walk home. Uh, like, why, why, why do you have to command like a, like an entire crowd of people because, to, to, you know? Because I'm asking you to. You're being, you're being pretty entitled right now. I think we have just as much of a right to the street. Okay, although we the audience know that they're following her, Fugger and Mr. Pumped Up Kicks aren't completely wrong here. She is being a little entitled. All right, you you go uh, put it in the mailbox. I'll stay here and, and be a lookout. I wonder why the show is called Bridge Kids because that looks like an overpass highway, not a bridge. Hello. Uh, ah! Oh, oh shit, my god! Fuck. Who the fuck are you? Uh, 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 fuck! 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 I'm gonna call the fucking cops. No, why no, 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 don't call the cops. Okay, fuck! Oh, no, no, no why does this always happen to me? What just happened? You would think this character would be a little better at this, considering he's a creep psychopath. I'm being so serious right now. There is a crazy stalker after me. I need you to be with me in case something happens. They probably got like a knife or something. Like, I don't know. That's kind of not my job. That's more of a something you would call the police about like uh yeah i can't i mean i i get her point she wants her boyfriend to protect her and walk her home but at the same time she should really call the authorities you can just have them do their job i don't know that sounds kind of scary like i don't know okay well that's love love is scary i hate to say it but that kind of sounds like a you problem girl Oh, how to get dumped 101. Tell your girlfriend that's getting stalked by a psychopath that it's a her problem? Yikes. Okay. That's not, come on. Can you Give show me a it? Kiss. No, Mo, you're a fucking pussy. I'm leaving. I ain't even did nothing, girl. Yeah, that's the problem. You did nothing. Do you want me to show you uh, how it works? Yeah, that'd be cool. It's actually, uh, you know, two different techniques on how... Uh... <laughs> wow. I'm just so glad that everything's back to normal now. And I think our bonds are a lot stronger now and we're... Wait, what? Where did everyone go? Aw, oh, poor guy. He's all by his lonesome. Actually, what the fuck am I talking about? He's a wannabe school shooter. What about you, though? You're not even wearing a costume. I'm like a punk rock guy, you know? I got a yeah, but skull on my shirt. Yeah, you already are a punk rocker. How is this a costume? This is so relatable. Me and my family grew up really poor. And back in the day, my mom worked at a Walmart. So because we couldn't afford a costume, one Halloween, I decided to dress as a dead Walmart employee. It was really weird. Let me know in the comments, what was your favorite costume? costume that you wore during Halloween. Billy, Your brother keeps uh, keeps staring at me. Yeah, he giving does Giving me that. the creeps. Hey, uh, could you like look the other way or like, uh... I love Lars's little brother. Look, don't call me Dr. Disrespect. I need a plushie of that kid. Trick or, Trick or treat. treat. Aw, look at you. Are you Spider-Man? I'm sorry, what? That kid looks nothing like Spider-Man. Yes, I get it, that's the joke. You know what, because of the whole Spider-Verse thing, maybe there's a pumpkin Spider-Man. Bye guys, be safe. There's a lot of weirdos out there tonight. Oh, what the hell? Why didn't we get anything? Yeah, I don't know, maybe she uh... I do like the detail of the artist showing that these kids are poor without actually telling us. One, Lars isn't actually wearing a costume, but two, he's using a very generic retail store plastic bag and Fugger is using a regular paper bag, which again, back in the day when we had no money, that's what I would use. Aren't you guys a little too old to be trick-or-treating? Actually, that's just a myth. Yeah, mm -hmm. the human body doesn't stop growing and metabolizing until like age 25. Yeah. So we're actually still in the perfect demographic to keep trick-or-treating. First, 
first off, Fugger, you're a fucking nerd. And secondly, I do kind of agree with him in the sense that you shouldn't have to be a certain age to go trick-or-treating. I know it looks weird, but you should be able to go trick-or-treating regardless. Excuse my phrasing, but I feel like a lot of adults lose that child inside them. You get what I mean? Look at this. He, he, he got king size. I didn't get any king size. Yeah, He's well, probably gonna, he's getting a head start on childhood obesity. I don't know about that. You should be sharing with me. Fugger, look at you. All right, look, I can't really say anything on the count of I'm fat myself. I will say once I got a job, I stopped trick-or-treating and just bought my own candy because it's a hell of a lot easier just to buy your own candy than to beg for it. You need to really learn to control your little brother because he's, uh, because, uh, uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. What the hell is that? Is that even a human? He's wearing a thing that you would wear when you go to the doctor. Look, I don't mean to judge a book by its cover, but he looks like a killer who may or may not have escaped from a psych ward. What's good? Oh, hello, boys. Hey, yo, what's up, pretty mama? What are you, some kind of pussy cat or something? Damn, you're looking fine with that. I mean, yeah, how'd you know? <laughs> Shit, I'll clean your litter box. Damn. Damn meow, meow. What? I'm sorry, what was that pickup line? In a few minutes, I'm gonna put the baby to bed and then I'll have the whole house to myself. You guys can come hang out if you want. I'm gonna be all alone. Shit. Wait a minute, are you telling me that pickup line with the cat litter actually fucking worked? I need to reevaluate my life. Maybe I just need to talk about cat shit 24 7. Yo. Love some Netflix and chill, you know? Yeah, and this kid's a heavy yeah, sleeper, yeah, you know? That's right, yeah. that's right. We could make all kinds of racket. This kid ain't oh, even gonna damn. hear, yo. <laughs> yeah, let's get these wheels spinning, yo. you know? What an awful babysitter. Is she insinuating that they're gonna have a threesome in a house that isn't hers while she's babysitting a child can i join she's gonna be home alone bro macaulay calkin style I know, man. all alone nobody home all by herself man yo we could fucking kill so that vulnerable. bitch if we wanted to i mean i you know that's fucked up i you know i really shouldn't say some yeah, shit we like wouldn't that. Do that i think my suspicions about this person being a escapee from a psych ward was probably correct actually you know what who actually knows maybe he looks like a killer but is actually a very sweet guy so I think clearly like, just wearing your brother's costume would be better than this. Well, no, like if I hold it like really close, like you can't even tell. Looking at Lars's arms and now noticing his whole posture, it reminds me a lot of XQC. Is that mean to say? <laughs> Trick or treat. Ooh, you know what guys? I think I was right. I hate this place. This prison. None of them know what it's like. They don't even know my name. They're all just bogged. Bogged in the mire. By the way, I just want to remind people that from the one minute clip that I saw on TikTok, this does get pretty dark. So take that as like a disclaimer. Hey. Yo, 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 you know what it is. Aha, uh -huh, yo. I'm the Tyler Durden of math class, but you don't know that because you get no ass. I love the character design. We haven't even seen my favorite character design just yet, but just look at these two guys. The animation somewhat reminds me of an uglier Rugrats. I don't know, it looks unsettling, but at the same time, it looks normal. Those Neanderthals rapping their music to flocks of sheep. None of them understand how fucked up this world is. This character is so full of himself. I feel like everyone that's watching this knows a person somewhat like him who just thinks the world is centered around them. And also, I love his design as well because it perfectly matches his whole persona. He's animated with a little body but a big head. Although he thinks he's all high and mighty, in reality, he's a really small person with a massive head. I love it so much. I got it all. It, it, it saves a lot of space. It's a whole lot more flexible. Can't, um, it's not really a backpack though, you know? Can't well, really... it doesn't have to be. It... <gasps> Oh my god, dude, this character design is freaky as shit. I look at this character and instantly I'm terrified. I just hate how big his mouth is. It looks like you could fit a watermelon in there. I'll make them pay. I'll make them know exactly what it's like. I'll show them just how twisted I can be. I think my favorite part about this character is his voice. He has one of those voices that you would find super annoying, but crazy at the same time. I get to, I get to have everything I need. Like I don't want to see like what a, he says like to a, his mommy. 
Um, this kid is black. Dude, like the comedy is so nonchalant. I'll admit nothing funny is going on. Like these two guys are just having a conversation while this dude is just rapping a diss track about him for no reason. But like there's just something about this type of comedy that's really hard to pull off. It's one thing being deliberately funny, but it's another thing when you don't try at all. Your head look like a fucking sandcastle, bro. And just like a sandcastle, bitch, whoosh, oh, I'm gonna fucking kick it over. Why is this guy just roasting the shit out of him? What did he do to you? I will say that sandcastle roast was pretty good. Also, look at this frame. The octopi. Yeah, you're gonna be sleeping with the fishes, you know. Did, did you just threaten me? Are you threatening me with violence? I'll fucking violence? hit you over the head with- <laughs> Dude, oh my god, the way he just said, are you threatening me right now? Oh my god, I love his voice. <laughs> this I'm point say, I is you, uh, uh, Life is so simple for this midwits. <laughs> if only they were <laughs> Cursed with the knowledge of this rotten world like I am. Oh my god, dude, his character is so annoying. Not only do I find it annoying when characters in a show are like this, I find it absolutely baffling that people in our real world are like this. He thinks he's so special and over everybody. Move it, bitch. Yo, handicap parking coming through. Wait a minute, editor, replay that. That sounded just like Morty. Can you believe this? There's no one even here. There's no one in the office. This is this is an emergency, and there's no one there's well, no one here know, to, school to. School got out like an hour ago, so school's been out an hour, and you're still there. I know people like to hang out at school playgrounds, but just leave. The only thing that I miss about school is being able to see my friends every day. For those of you who are older, you understand. I'll write them a note uh, detailing how uh, their absence has uh, uh, left the school vulnerable for these hoodlums to walk around and and, and torment everyone. Hoodlums? That is not what I'd call those guys. Uh, do you have a, a pen and paper I could borrow? No. Uh... Oh, I actually have lots of paper. H here. Oh, I like that a lot. I loved that small detail where our main watermelon mouth guy, when he asked for a paper, Mr. Delusional over here, he slightly started to smile. And the reason why I bring that up, because that's a sign of the producer, the story writer, and the animators actually caring about what they're doing. It just gives the show a little bit of extra detail, which I really appreciate. Well, no. Bent. At that point, you're just completely underprepared. Got it right here. Like, what if you, like, come across a $100 bill on the ground? Then you're gonna- no, you're no, not have anywhere to put it happening well, you know. i just love everything about this scene you have mr delusional down here just freaking out because he can't find a piece of paper and you have these two just having a normal conversation it just sets the whole tone of the show and it's a tone that i haven't seen before in a show and i love it my manifesto it's missing we could probably just come back, you know, later. <laughs> I just, I just love how they just don't give a shit. And understandably so. They have no reason to actually care about this kid at all. And even as he's losing his shit, they just don't care. Not one point in this show have they tried to tell a joke. Yet I've been laughing and loving this the entire time. The real me is fighting the biological me. This ugly corpse world is riddled with disease. And the cure for it all is my AR-15 with a 3D printed bump stock and extended magazine. Huh? Reminder, this notebook was written by that delusional kid. The pumped up kicks kid. He just admitted to having an AR-15. Oh, YouTube, please don't demonetize this video. It's pretty cool. N now they're threatening people with, with with machine guns and saying there's gonna be blood. It's kind of raw. I like that. It's kind of like a hard edge, you know? All right, in all fairness, without context, the, the lyrics are pretty good, but knowing the context, it's pretty messed up. Hello, uh, 911. I'd like to report two guys are are going around uh, threatening to start a, a shooting. They didn't really. Yeah, they say it's gonna be a bloodbath. Uh, frankly, very disturbing. It was kind of like a cool music thing, you know? It wasn't... Yeah, two lower class Caucasian males. <laughs> two lower class Caucasian males. I'm not gonna lie, our Patrick Star main character here is a little delusional himself. I wouldn't say to the level of Mr. Pumped Up Kicks, but he's a little full of himself. Yeah, I have evidence right here. Uh, they wrote down saying that they are going to meet on Friday the 30th uh, under the bridge to to begin their killing spree. What? It doesn't say that at all. All good God. All right, I'm not gonna lie. This Patrick Star character is a little annoying. This kid is just taking this out of proportion. Those Philistines. Oh, they'll pay for this. Are you hearing the lyrics in the background? I'm pretty sure he said I'm gonna bust his skull and let it bleed down the hallway. Dude, this is fucked. I mean, the comedy is right up my alley, but God damn. The time you read this, it'll be too late. Tomorrow, my day of reckoning will commence. Of course this kid has a Joker poster. Delayed and delayed for 
too long. I've let the thugs take advantage of my cowardice. But I'm not going to be a pussy anymore. That was pretty cool. The animation on the paper and the writing was like constantly moving, kind of expressing the intensity of the scene. That was pretty cool. I like that. Treacherous vanity will decompose. Fungus will sprout from their putrid remains. <laughs> ashes to ashes. Shit to shit. Oh, damn. He would be an amazing songwriter. I will blow my school up with a giant bomb. It will go kick, kick, kick. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <coughs> They're shutting us down for speaking the truth. Stop resisting. What, what, what the fuck is happening? Dude, this is even worse than I thought. Oh my god. Editor, you have to blur that shit out. Even Mr. Pumped Up Kicks is terrified. There, justice served. That's what happens when you go around threatening other people with violence. What? She, she actually lives upstate. But, uh, you know, sometimes she'll she'll drive in and visit, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll sneak her in my house at night. Wow. You know, we, we gotta be real quiet uh, so my, so I don't wake my parents up while we're uh, while we're making out. Jesus, with that fucking mouth? I don't even know how you would make out. Oh my god, I just imagined him trying to... Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna say it. We, we got together for, like, one last uh, goodbye hookup. Uh, uh, we got to third base together. Oh, hey, guys. Oh my gosh, you look so hot in that jacket. You could use a stroke. What? what? Me and Fugger just said the same thing. I hate that his name is Fugger. Chemicals in it. Oh. I saw it has like a yellow number five. Oh, what's, what's that do? Yeah, that's supposed to like uh, lower your sperm count. Uh, oh, you're counting your sperm? <laughs> <laughs> just the way he said that. I don't know. It just sounded so condescending. That delivery was just so funny. Also, people like this who are so picky on what they drink. Unless it's water, everything you drink nowadays is pretty bad for you if you're looking for people to uh to prowl on you know she's pretty uh oh her well i guess she's conventionally attractive but she's breathtaking i i consider myself like a sapiosexual what the fuck does that mean sapiosexual of relating to or characterized by sexual or romantic attraction to highly intelligent people that's a thing you know what between you and me that's not really the best flavor let me get you something special Hey, Joey, can you take care of him? Oh, wait, but- Hey, what's up, man? Uh, wait, you wanted a, a different flavor? Holy fuck. It looks like his pants are about to fall off. His pants are being held up by his ginormous cock. Yeah, uh, black cherry is, a, is supposed to be like a, an aphrodisiac in most cultures. Uh, plus her, like, her body language was, like, completely indicating that, that she was totally into me. <sighs> that's, that's pretty serious. Did yeah, her you, pelvis uh... was facing me. <laughs> Okay, that, <laughs> that was pretty good. You might be like her her boyfriend, you know? They're pretty close. Standing well, pretty close together. Well, no, that can't be possible because that would be, uh, they work together. I thought he was going to say something completely different. Hey, hey, again. Oh, hey, back again? Hey, yeah. Uh, wow, you must really like these. <laughs> yeah, y you guys do a, a good job, um, uh... You know, um, what are you saying? I feel so bad for Flugger and I want to make fun of him, but, but come on, let's be honest, guys. We've all been there. Also, I'm pretty sure he's like a freshman, so I don't even know. Bro, I am fucking pumped, dude. I can't wait to fucking pump some iron, dog. Yeah, me too, man. I think it's going to be like an upper body day, you know? <laughs> Get it? This show is amazing. I mean, you like uh, you like music and stuff. Like, I mean, I I'm a I'm a big G Unit head. I've been listening to some D Block lately. You know. Why does he keep looking at his crotch? Hey, can you like chug this real quick? Oh, all right. Holy shit! This guy has slammed down four of these things in a matter of five minutes. Ener energized. I just kind of feel like. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, like a pain in my chest. Hey, can't give me those. You know, my heart's beating really fast. I don't. All right, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Oh no, our boy's about to crash and die. Hell yeah, man. We were for trying to pump some iron. I mean, you know, count me in. Yo, Yo. for real, dog. That's what's up. Let's That's go. what's up, bro. I'm fucking hype. Let's go. Joey, where are you going? We're in the middle of our shift. His name is Joey. That's the last name I would have guessed. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, she. It does seem like she doesn't want to be another notch on my belt. Uh, which I understand, but like. Really, she doesn't know what she's missing out hey, on. Hey, uh, can I get your name and number here? Nice visual show. Amazing. I love it. Also, Fugger is so full of himself. Oh, uh, 
Okay, bye. Take a Her name was Stroke at. I won't, I won't think there. God, God damn it. So you said you have like a condition or something? Oh shit, he's coming. Yeah. Oh no, Mr. Pumped Up kicks his back. Oh hey, what's uh, I got something here. Oh, what's that? Do you know anybody named uh, Isaiah? Uh, no, I've never heard of that name. Looks like it's for a birthday party. What the hell does it say? We can make them pay and inflict Justin upon those Cretans. And that's why I'd like to invite you to my birthday. Isaiah. If any of you are named Isaiah watching this, I am sorry. What the hell? Where's my invitation? Oh, hey, I see you got the party invite. I guess I'll catch you there. By the way, somebody in the last video said this kid's nose looks just like Voldemort's. Now I can't unsee it. Thanks, guys. It's okay, you know, I, I didn't even want to go anyway. Well, no, you and I are both going to this party. Uh... Yeah, our invite was probably just like a, a lump invite, like we're each other's plus one. He's probably just trying to save paper. Yeah, that's that makes sense. I genuinely hate people like this. I hate it when people include themselves even when they're not strictly invited to things. It just grinds in my gears. I hate it. Oh god, he's not showing up, is he? It's getting late. Why would he even show up? Ooh, look at this room. That litter box has not been changed in a very long time. You know what, it's fine. I don't have time for friends anyway. There's too much that needs to be done. Does that outlet have double switches? I've never seen an outlet with two switches on it. Is that normal? It looks like you brought a friend. That's, um... This is, this is Isaiah's house, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is it. The, why don't you come on in? Ah, uh, make yourselves at home. Jesus, the silence in the background is so loud. I know that doesn't make any sense, but trust me, it does. Oh, uh, you, you can leave your shoes at the door. Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just gonna say I would not take my shoes off in this house. I just love the absolute silence after that. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, for you. Oh, wow. Thanks so much. That's, that's awesome. Thanks. Here, uh, you can, yeah, take this. Wow. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I blew it up myself, so, uh... Nice work. You're welcome. At least the pumped up kicks kid, aka Isaiah, actually seems like he's grateful for these gifts, because I'm assuming he's never had an actual birthday party before. I don't know, it's kind of sweet. Do you have anything to, like, um, do? Yeah, is there... There's, uh, lots of cool stuff in my room, if you guys want to come check it out. Okay. Uh, I guess, yeah. yeah. Oh lord, we're gonna see his room. Alright guys, so, uh, yeah, this is it. This is my bedroom. It's where the, uh... Magic happens, as they say, so, you know, sorry, it's like, it's it's a little cramped in here. Full disclosure, I wasn't expecting this many people to show up. What the fuck? Excuse my French, but what? I'm not gonna lie, out of everything in this room, the fact that he has a blueprint of his high school, that is bad. That is terrible. However, I will say, he does have a Doom poster, which is a plus. Yeah, this is, uh... It's a lot of garbage. Are those, uh, are those animal bones? Oh, do you like them? I actually love collecting these things. I will admit, it is kind of weird to have animal bones in your room. But hey, if scientists do it, then I don't see the problem. Maybe our friend Isaiah here is an aspiring scientist. Hey, do you have any, um, snacks? Uh, what? Snacks? Well, um, well you know, it's like a, a party, so I thought there'd be like, you know... You know, oh. snacks or something oh oh yeah yeah snacks snacks how could i have forgotten um god the fucking silence is so loud here it's so unnerving only one way to find out though right yeah we, i guess we could like take a look you know yeah i think we should um i think i think we should leave i think it's time to go <laughs> Oh my god, I can only imagine what's under that bed sheet. I don't know, I just love their reaction. It was funny, I like it. I'm gonna assume there's probably a dead body under there. Oh god, you idiot. You forget snacks. There isn't even anything in here. What kind of selfish idiot drags people over to his house and he doesn't even have snacks? Side note, where are his parents? I mean, I guess they could be at work. Or what's under his bed could be his parent or parents. Uh, and yeah, he does as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that, yeah. That's what I mean when I say that we double booked is because mm -hmm. we both have 
uh, an appointment. Yeah, we did it together. I mean, was it the was it the snacks? I, I I know it's such a mess in here. I mean, was it the snacks, dude? Oh my god, was it the fucking snacks? Yeah, yeah, that was it. Definitely not the dead body under your bed. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for coming. You know, I really cherish your friendship and. Yeah. No. No. Um. No problem. Mm hmm Yeah, we, we had fun. Yeah. This was honestly one of the best days of my life. Him saying that was sad as shit. The thing is, is I actually believe the guy. Like, I feel bad for Isaiah. This character Isaiah is perfect because you slightly feel bad for the guy until you realize he's a murderous psychopath. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to laugh at this kid's misery. Look, I'm not trying to be resentful to this murderous psychopath, but oh my god, it's just it's just so funny, dude. It's so funny. But I'm a Wait, their names are Fugger and Lars? <laughs> 